with the increasing demand of uh, miniature quads that uh, resemble especially the Inductrix model, uh, there are a lot of uh, users who desire to transform them into tiny whoops or uh, in uh, translations for ones that uh, are not very accustomed with this term it's that uh, a miniature FPV camera also called an all-in-one camera it's mounted on a mini quad or a nano quad and uh, that will result in a tiny whoop project a quad uh, able to fly indoors and have FPV so you can uh, fly it all over your house or around your house if it's not very windy and uh, you need a very special camera very light to make this uh, wonderful project so today I'm going to take a look at another camera designed for this uh, type of activity is the JF01 and uh, from its box you cannot tell a lot of uh, details about it only that it has a lot of uh, channels for its uh, FPV it uses uh, 5.8 gigahertz band so it's compatible with all that is on the market like uh, goggles and uh, so on uh, it comes with a small manual with specifications you can uh, actually pause the video if you want to uh, check them out I'm going to hold this steady a bit okay so you can see more details about it it has uh, 800 uh, TV lines so it should have uh, very good resolution it has uh, 25 milliwatts of power and it comes with uh, uh, 148 degrees uh, lens which should be just about perfect for my taste uh, you get it into this foam padding to protect itself during travel and it comes with a cable and here's the camera itself it has an aluminium case and on the back you can see it has some LEDs to indicate the band and frequency it has here a small switch to change the channels and the power connector so that's about it it also comes with a lens cap which is useful when you are not flying and you want to protect your camera let's see how much it weights right so without lens cap but with wires it has 9 grams so without wires 8 grams but let's see what happens if we take this aluminium case off because sometimes you want to be the lightest build as possible especially with these miniature quads the case is very easy to take off so now it's off and here it's the main board the power board and the video transmitter on the back and the sensor board in front it uses a few connectors between the two circuit boards and now it only weights 5 grams so it's much better for our miniature quad now let's also do a quick test to see if it works and how it works I'm going to use one of my FPV monitors and I'm going to supply power with a one cell battery this camera uh, uses only one cell battery and I'm gonna plug in the connector like this and I don't have a connector soldered yet but I'm just gonna plug in the wires into the battery and the camera as you can see it's operating and showing the frequency and channel but I need to search for those on my screen I'm gonna use a small screwdriver to change the channel uh, we are getting close 
and there it goes we have clear image and of course there's no lag on uh, this kind of camera because it's FPV it's, it's not doing any kind of recording so there is absolutely no lag the image is very clear very sharp which I like very much so this should be a nice addition to my mini quad which I'm also going to strip its uh, casing which is very easy this is the JJR CH36 so the camera will be fixed on the top of this and I will do a tiny whoop out of them very soon until then bye bye